Is there a solution that does not involve approximating or knowing the value of square root of 3? And this question is a practice question on a GMAT textbook. Let's have a look. Here we have square root of 63 minus 36 times square root of 3. And this is an example of what we call the nested square root. And it says we can write this in the form of x plus y times square root of 3 for some integers x and y. And that's what this notation is for x and y are integers. So no more like square root of 3 here for the x or square root of 5 for the y, none of that. The question is, what's the value for x times y? Alright, this I think is the shortest way to do this question. Notice that we have this square root on the outside, right? Why don't we just square both sides? So we can get rid of that square root. Cancel, cancel. So we get 63 minus 36 times square root of 3. And on the right hand side, let's just work that out. x plus y square root of 3 times x plus y square root of 3. So x times x, that's x squared. This times this is xy square root of 3. Do this again. Let's put the x first. So xy square root of 3. Lastly, y times y is y squared. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just a regular 3. Let's put it here. And notice that we can combine this and that together. So I'll put the answer here. We have x squared plus 2 of them. And lastly, plus 3y squared. Have a look. On the left hand side, this part has the square root of 3. On the right hand side, only this part has the square root of 3. And that's true. Because x and y, they are integers. So this and that together, they have to be integers. In fact, this and that together has to be equal to 63. But we don't need to care about that because we're trying to find out what x times y is, right? So all we have to do is put this being equal to that. So we must have 2xy square root of 3 being equal to negative 36 square root of 3. Square root of 3 on both sides, we just divide it by that. Well, in fact, you can just put this is equal to that, yeah, faster. But doesn't matter because now all we have to do is just divide both sides by 2. So cancel this and we can get x times y is equal to negative 36 divided by 2, which is negative 18. So that would be the answer. That's it.